Next, move your body. Whatever you choose to do, just don't stay sitting. Because if you think about something that stays sitting, it becomes dormant. You want to move your body. Uh, again, Tai Chi is an excellent way to do this. Stretching, yoga is an excellent way. You could walk, you could swim, you could ride your bike. Move your body. Don't stay still. Make a concerted effort for 10, 15 minutes a day. Block out the time to move your body. Stretch your body. Move it. Lift weights. Do something. Contract. Move the fluids, everything in your body the way it's supposed to. Along those lines, there are certain acupuncture points that you can press that can help this. Okay? At the crease of your shoulder here, right here, let me see, I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. Ooh, that was zoom out. Let's zoom in. At the crease right here, can you see that? Right here. Press in here. This is a point for the lungs. Dig. Anatomically, it's right underneath what's called the acromion process, and it's the origin for the biceps tendon in Chinese medicine, okay? It's the point for the lungs, and like I said, the lungs have to do with grief. If you're upset, if you're sad, if you're depressed, it's gonna hurt, okay? I go over all these points all the time, okay? Just to see how I'm feeling, and do both sides, by the way, okay? That's, that's one good point for you to press. Uh, another good point to press, okay? Let's zoom out right here. Can you see my leg? Another good point to press is on the outside of your shin. I'm going to pull my pant leg up here. And between your calf muscle and the muscle called your tibialis anterior, there's a little groove there. And it's roughly four fingers below the bony part of the base of your knee here. And you get in there and you dig. Again, you do it with both sides. I use four fingers. Okay. This point in Chinese medicine is called stomach 36, and again it relates to, it's one of the uh, points in what's called the muscular tendon system uh, that relates to the energy of the stomach. Again, what's the relationship with the stomach? Rumination, constantly going over thoughts. So if you work this point here, deeply, on both legs, 15, 20, 35 seconds, every day, and you do these points here, on your lungs, on your arms for your lungs every day, and you move your body every day, you're going to start to feel better and better. And um, I, I would hope that over time, uh, if you follow up with this, uh, you will experience the same results that uh, I've experienced. Uh, when I was 15 or 16 years old, uh, I would go to see my teacher for an injury. He was a master acupuncturist. He was the, uh, Dr. Sohn was the gentleman who wrote the test that acupuncturists would take to get, to get their licenses. Um, when I would get injured in martial arts, I would feel kind of funky or uh, after my father passed away, I went to see him immediately and uh, he didn't treat me. And boy, I was a little bit perplexed that he didn't treat me. Um, but what he would do is he was showing me where to press on myself or I could fix these things myself. And he didn't give me explanation. He would smile and wink. He said, press here, it's gonna hurt. Keep pressing it till it stops hurting. And leave it at that. And usually I felt better after anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks. And it took me a while to realize the wisdom of what he taught me. And uh, now I'm giving it to you, it's explanation. So uh, you don't have to take 10, 15, 20 years and study health profession and martial arts. So I'm giving you the short version. Um, just try this. See what helps. Ask questions. Send me emails. All right. Thanks, and uh, have a great day. Bye.